All right, Jackie, thank you. Uh, we're going to go back to that breaking news in Northern Virginia where multiple kids were rushed to the hospital after a crash in Mirafield in Fairfax County. Yeah, police are holding a briefing right now to share what they've learned so far. Take a listen. in the air, getting a visual picture of uh, what happened here. Um, but what, what is clear is that speed and alcohol were absolutely factors of the crash. And most of the juveniles, from what we've been able to determine so far, were not wearing their seat belts. So we're still, we're still very early into this investigation. And like I said, we'll be out here for, for a couple hours just putting all these pieces together to figure out what exactly occurred here. But we'll certainly address some questions. Uh, or at least as much as we can. Can you give us the age ranges? 14 to 17 year old for everyone that was inside the vehicle, friends, some uh, some family members, and all of them are local to this area. What can you tell us about the car? Was it stolen? Or? No, no, the car was not stolen through our investigation. Nothing has revealed that this vehicle was stolen. Uh, looks like it does belong to at least one of the family members in this uh, in this vehicle. Where did they go? The driver, did they stay on scene or were they like running? Yeah, no, no. Everybody stayed on scene. There was no hit and run. Um, you know, it was uh, officers and fire rescue personnel that got here quickly and did everything that they could to try and treat every one of these patients that was inside the vehicle. Is it coming from a party? Uh, that's part of the investigation. That's what we have to figure out, and that's what our detectives are here. Not just to put all the pieces together about this crash and what happened here, but certainly um, anything that may have led up to this. But what's clear is that speed and alcohol were absolutely factors in this crash. And um, sadly, without seat belts being worn for the occupants, um, that's what likely led to some significant serious injuries. So if the driver was arrested for DUI, are you able to tell us uh, like what they blew? No, no, it's still really in the investigation, so that will probably come out at, at some point. But right now, um, you know, driver was arrested and uh, the other aspects of it, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Can you tell me specific charges? I'm sorry? The specific charges against the driver? Uh, right now, driving under the influence, but still early in the investigation, so we'll certainly have more details about the arrest um, and uh, release more information later on, later on today, likely. The driver was old enough to have his license? So I believe the driver right now was not licensed, but again, um, we'll still get more of those uh, investigative and arrest details later this afternoon um, as our detectives focus on the crime scene right here and uh, the, the crash. And then as an officer, just hearing that five people are ejected, they weren't wearing seatbelts, what's kind of your reaction to hearing something like that? You don't hear that every day of that many people being ejected. As an officer, as a parent, as anybody, um, you hear five, well, six juveniles taken to the hospital with injuries life-threatening. Uh, in the holiday season, we always focus on, you know, the Wednesday before uh, Thanksgiving, where we know individuals are out um, consuming alcohol, and uh, the assumption is it's, it's adults who are out drinking, and it's easy to um, forget juveniles do partake in alcohol illegally, but it's an important reminder that kids need to be responsible, parents need to have conversations, with their, with their loved ones, make sure everyone's safe. And it's a, a sad reminder that we need to make sure we wear seat belts. Who called the police? Uh, community member nearby. So we'll have more of an investigative update later on this afternoon and um, follow our socials for that. Thank you. Thank you.